Hi everyone. We are going to replace the ice maker on my Samsung refrigerator. Now, the ice actually was actually working, but um, for some reason it seemed to drip and form like an icicle underneath the bottom here. You see me pointing to it. So I just decided to go ahead and replace the unit to see if that would help solve the problem and I'll do an update afterwards see if it actually fixed it. This is what the inside of the door looks like with the ice maker. You can go ahead and just remove the actual top of the unit, the ice bucket itself, grab the sides, pinch it in, draw it towards you, it snaps off. There are four screws here that you're going to want to remove that hold the panel in place. And there are three more actually above that to hold the ice maker in place, but I apologize. I'd already removed it before I decided to do this video. So a total of seven screws all together. When you got all the screws out, just go ahead and give it a good tug on both sides. It should just kind of pop off a little bit. And with the new ice maker in hand, go ahead and run that power cord up through that slot here. Because that's where that connects to the back side of this. And I'll show you in just a minute. It just clips on. easy. Once you got that connected, go ahead and put the panel back in place, just kind of line it up and, and I'll give it a good push on one side and a good push on the other. You might hear like a snap once it kind of snaps back into place. And you got your three screws that you're gonna put back in that hold the ice maker in place. So I apologize, I'd already removed the old one before I decided to make the video. You might want to think about using a magnetic screwdriver at this time just simply because it uh, holds the screws a little bit better. I am not using one, but a uh, magnetic Phillips head would be nice. Keeps the screws from moving around and dropping inside the ice maker itself. I do have the refrigerator unplugged at this time, but I guess you could leave it plugged in if you like, but right now the freezer side temperature is rising, so if you had it going, it might be a, a little bit faster when it gets ready to cool off to make the ice cubes, and we'll get into that in just a minute. So put the four screws back in place to hold the panel. And don't forget to put the bottom screw in. And let's plug the refrigerator back in if you unplugged it earlier. 
okay now we got the new ice maker in and we need to reset it and by doing that we're going to use this button here we're going to push it in till you hear a chime and we're going to line up the actual bracket here or put the ice maker bucket and we have a bracket maybe like a gear so the door sits on there flush put the top back on the ice maker and we should be good to go and this particular refrigerator has a power freeze option so what I'm going to do is hold the button for three seconds and power freeze it so I can get the freezer down to zero degrees thanks for watching guys hope this helps have a great day